Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I would like to show you how to use and how to create a touch application that you can create yourself. So what I've done right here is I've created a custom touch application and within this application, I have created several triggers which allow me to go through the content items. So what we have done is I have inserted one video. So if I will touch on this very first image, it will play one video. Now this is the video of our YoYo NFC based solution. Here at the left bottom corner you can see a home icon. If I press on it, so if I touch it, I will go back to the very first page that I created. Now in the second image I have also inserted another video. Where you can see someone right here leaving the building. This is our entrance management solution. Which will basically allow you to control the amount of people inside a building which is great as a COVID-19 solution, of course. So again, this is the second trigger. And if I go back to home, I will be seeing my main page again. Now, if I tap on the third tab, it will show an image of our wherever solution. This is just a static image, which allows you to see where your devices are connected around the world. If you have multiple devices. Again, I can go back to my home screen and I can also select our final solution, which is the Magic Info dashboard. And if I select this one, it will open a URL. That's why it took a little bit longer than the other content items, because this trigger had to load a URL. Now this is our Magic Info dashboard, which is also something that we offer, which allows you in a quick overview to see all of your devices, how many devices are connected, how many are disconnected, you can set alarms and you can see the faults. So this is just a quick overview. So this is how to work with the touch application. And every trigger that you manually have to do is a trigger that you have to set in Magic Info. So what I have right here is my main page. And what I do is if, if I click on this image, I will go to page two. Now, if I go back to home, I will go back to page one. So if I click on this image, I will go to page three which I will show in a minute because I will now show how to create this in a Magic Info Premium Author. Now please note the Premium Author is not a default author that comes with Magic Info. The Premium Author has to be installed on our own Windows Server. And I will now show you what it looks like. So as you can see this is my Windows Server and on the left hand side I have my Magic Info Premium Author. Now if I open it, which I already have, you can here see the document that I created. Now this is the image as you also just saw on the 13 inch touch display, which I was showing earlier. So basically what I've done with the triggers is I have selected the first image and here on the left hand side, you have several options. Now make sure to click this symbol. And if you click on it, the trigger solution will open. And here you can select the triggers. So for example, a click, because a click equals a touch in this case. And whenever a touch gets opened, the certain action can be chosen. So for example, go to page two in this case, because my default page is page one, as you can see. So whenever I want this trigger to go to, to do a certain action, I want it to go to page two, which is this one. And this is my video that I just showed you earlier. So one thing that you do have to keep in mind is that the page timing should always be 24 hours. Otherwise the page will uh, finish within a certain amount that has, set, has been set earlier. So for example, one minute. This also has to be done with a content item. So as you can see right here, I got my content item running for 24 hours. If I set it to a short period of time, for example, in this one, which you can see, I set for 30 seconds. This will mean whenever the 30 seconds expire, this page will turn blank. So because the background I have is blank, it will just disappear this video and it will basically only show the content without the video. So then for the rest of the 24 hours that are remaining, it will show this white image. So please be aware of that. Now another thing is, on the bottom left corner I have my home icon. 
as you can see. This is just an image that I inserted. And within this image, you also have to go to the same settings right here and also select the trigger to go back to page one. So select that the trigger should be a click and the action is that it should go back to page one. I have done this for every single page because on every page I have this home icon which I can immediately go back to my home page. Now the third trigger was image which also had to be set for 24 hours and the final one was a URL as I mentioned. Now also this URL has to be set for 24 hours. If you show it for a shorter period of time it will disappear after the time set. So whenever you've done so you can save your content item and then you can upload it. Now the premium author is different than the normal Magic Info author you're used to. So what will happen in this case is, as you can see, you have to select your server right here. So this is the server that I'm going to use. This is the port I'm going to use. And this is the account that I'm going to upload my content item on. So I will upload it as an admin and I will fill in my admin details right here. Now you have to make sure you tick the upload box because this will mean that the premium author will upload this content item to the server. Whenever you are ready to set, click on publish and the premium author will now upload the content item under the user admin to my server, which is the internal server in this case. So this will take a few seconds, there you go. And now it's done. So you can close this window. And what you have to do now is you can go back to Magic Info. So this is the server that I, in, that I inserted in the premium author. I will sign in as an administrator. And here I am. And if I go to my content item, you can see here at the very top, the touch test, which is the file that I just modified a moment ago. And the premium author will upload this file as an LFD file which you cannot edit in this Magic Info Web Author. This is impossible. So whenever you want to edit this file, you have to go back to the Premium Author. Save it, click on the little star icon, tick the upload box, and then you can save and publish the file to this server again. That's remaining is I simply scheduled my content item. As you can see, this is just the LFD file as a, as a whole. I scheduled it and published it to my device. And that's how you create a Tosh application and also how to upload it to your device. Thanks for watching.